Let's solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. Let's solve this equation 4x squared plus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0 by completing the square. The first thing we'll do is bring this constant term, namely the 1, to the right hand side of the equation, which gives us 4x squared plus 8x is equal to negative 1. Now with completing the square, it is very important at this point to make sure that the coefficient of the square term is equal to 1. And right now it is equal to 4. So what we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4. That is, we'll divide this first term by 4, second term by 4, as well as the negative 1 by 4. Which leaves us with x squared plus 2x, and let's leave a little bit of room here, is equal to negative 1 fourth. And now the coefficient of the square term is 1. So the next step then in completing the square is that we take 1 half the coefficient of x, which in this case is 2, and 1 half of 2 is 1, and then we square this number, So we get 1 squared is equal to 1. And then we add this to both sides of the equation. So we'll have a plus 1 here and a plus 1 here. And now the left-hand side is a perfect square. It is x plus 1 quantity squared. And we've completed the square on the left. And this is equal to? negative one-fourth plus one, which is three-fourths. And now we'll take the square root of both sides, which gives us x plus one is equal to plus or minus the square root of three-fourths, or x plus one is equal to plus or minus the square root of three divided by the square root of four, which is two, and then we'll subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, which gives us x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. And know that this means we have two solutions to this equation. We have x is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 3 over 2, or x is equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2. And this is how we solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.